T.J. Holmes Jr. is an American journalist and national television personality. He first gained national prominence as an anchor and correspondent for CNN. He spent five years at the network, anchoring CNN Saturday and Sunday morning. He left CNN at the end of 2011 after signing a multi-platform talent deal with BET Networks, which included the new show Don't Sleep. BET and Holmes parted ways in 2013 upon the program's cancellation. In December 2012, he became a substitute weekend anchor on MSNBC. He also appeared on CNN as a fill-in correspondent and anchor during this same period. In September 2014, he joined ABC News as a correspondent and anchor. T.J. Holmes has an estimated net worth of $5 million U.S. dollars. About T.J. Holmes' Early Life Lutelius T.J. Holmes Jr. was born on August 19, 1977, in West Memphis, Arkansas, and is the younger of two children. His family gave him the nickname T. Jr. He only began using the name T.J. when he started his professional television career. He attended the University of Arkansas, where he earned a degree in broadcast journalism. T.J. Holmes is 5 feet 7 inches tall. About T.J. Holmes' personal life T.J. Holmes was married to Amy Furson and the two divorced in 2007. They have two children, daughter Brianna Holmes and son Jaden Holmes. He then married Atlanta area attorney Mary Lee Feibig on March 1, 2010 in Memphis, Tennessee. Their daughter, Sabine Holmes, was born in January 2013. The couple separated in August 2022 before his relationship with his GMA3 co-host Amy Robach was revealed. T.J. Holmes is a member of the 100 Black Men of Atlanta and the National Association of Black Journalists. He's also on the Chancellor's Board of Advisors at the University of Arkansas and the Board of Visitors at Emory University in Atlanta. He received the Young Alumni Award from the Arkansas Alumni Association at the University of Arkansas in 2007. In 2011, he was named to the Route 100 list of Most Influential Black Americans. About T.J. Holmes' Career T.J. Holmes started his television career at KSNF Channel 16 in Joplin, Missouri. He drove to Joplin from the University of Arkansas campus to hand-deliver his resume and his reel. He was hired on the spot. He spent less than a year at KSNF as a producer, assignment reporter, and weekend anchor. He moved back to his home state of Arkansas in 2000 to join CBS affiliate KTHV in Little Rock as a general assignment reporter. Within a year, he was promoted to weekend anchor. In 2003, he moved on to KNTV, the NBC O&O station in the San Francisco Bay Area, to become anchor of the 5 p.m. evening news. While at KNTV, he traveled to Athens, Greece to cover the 2004 Olympics, the first summer games that were held after the September 11th attacks. While at KNTV, he covered numerous other stories that garnered national attention, including the historic recall election of California Governor Gray Davis that resulted in the election of Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger, and he also covered the double murder trial of Scott Peterson. In October 2006, T.J. Holmes joined CNN as a news anchor and correspondent. He co-anchored CNN Saturday and Sunday morning with Betty Nguyen until March 2010 when Nguyen left for CBS. He then anchored the newscast solo. In 2008, while at CNN, he covered the historic first papal visit to the United States of Pope Benedict XIV, including anchoring live from the Mass at Yankee Stadium. He secured some of the first stories from the survivors of the U.S. Airways Flight 1549 that crash-landed in the Hudson River in January 2009. He also reported from the campus of the University of Mississippi during the first presidential debate between Senators John McCain and Barack Obama. He also anchored significant news stories, including Saddam Hussein's execution in 2006, the terrorist attacks in Mumbai, India in 2008, and the terrorist attacks at the Glasgow airport in 2007. He contributed to CNN's 2010 coverage of the Deepwater Horizon oil spill and 2008 coverage of the presidential primary campaigns, both of which garnered Peabody Awards. His last day on CNN was Christmas Day 2011. In December 2011, T.J. Holmes and BET announced he had signed a multi-platform deal with BET Networks. In August 2012, BET Networks announced that Holmes will be the host of their new original series, Don't Sleep, which premiered October 1, 2012. After much speculation in March 2013, BET announced they had canceled Don't Sleep and that T.J. Holmes had left the network. Since December 29, 2012, he's appeared on MSNBC on several occasions as a substitute anchor. 
He also appeared on weekends with Alex Witt and News Nation with Tamron Hall. Starting on June 24, 2013, he made a brief return to the Turner family of networks when he anchored coverage of the George Zimmerman trial. On September 26, 2014, T.J. Holmes joined the ABC News team on a freelance temporary basis, substituting on the overnight news program World News Now and America This Morning, and filing reports for Good Morning America when news broke overnight, just like they did on the day of his hiring. A career milestone that was made publicly official the next day by the GMA Weekend hosts. On December 23, 2014, he was made the permanent co-anchor of World News Now. On September 21, 2020, he joined GMA3, What You Need to Know. He joined the program as a co-anchor. On December 5, 2022, TJ Holmes, along with his GMA3 co-host Amy Robach, were taken off the air following the public disclosure of a romantic relationship between the two. Well, that's it for the video on TJ Holmes. Thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and give us a like, share this video with your friends, and be sure to subscribe so you won't ever miss any of our great content. Again, thanks so much for watching.